I've been testing out the new GTX 1050 Ti from Zotec. This is the mini version of the card, and this could be potentially one of the most powerful graphics cards available right now for the dollar, especially if you're going to do 1080p gaming at fairly high detail settings. So what we're going to do is basically run through the performance parameters of this graphics card. And just for fun, we're also going to do a little comparison between this card and the RX 460 and 470 since they're kind of in a similar price bracket. It. Now, when it comes to the actual uh, the card dimensional size, as we mentioned before, this is the miniature version of the card. So this is actually the four gigabyte uh, GDDR5 model, and it only measures about 144.7 millimeters in terms of its overall length, and about 111 millimeters in terms of overall width. So the footprint of the card is fairly compact, but it is still a, a dual slot card. So you want to make sure that you have enough clearance in uh, both your case and your motherboard to support it but this would make a great option for somebody making a compact console-esque uh, gaming pc that would fit inside their living room you have plenty of connectivity options including a full-size hdmi 2.0 b which can support a full 4k resolution at 60 hertz refresh rate as well as a display port 1.4 and a uh, full-size dvi d connections and of course uh, with this you can support a multi a triple monitor configuration and of course hook it up to a, a ultra hd monitor or television now in terms of the raw specifications our gtx 1050 ti has about a 768 CUDA cores which is actually quite a lot more than the standard 1050 which has about 640 and of course it's the four gigabyte version you also have a two gigabyte version on the standard 1050 and in terms of the clock speed you're going to see higher clock speed than the standard 1050 as well well our specific card is clocked around 1303 on its base clock frequency and it can turbo or boost up to 1417 megahertz and if you do want to play around with a little bit of overclocking you can increase the frequencies i actually managed to get a four to five percent performance increase with some of my overclock settings in terms of the memory parameters it has a seven gigahertz a memory clock speed and the bus is rated at 128 bits now since this card is a fairly power efficient there's actually no connector for a six pin uh, connector and all the power gets sent directly through the pci express slot on your motherboard now in terms of the actual gaming power consumption itself isolated the gtx 1050 ti pulls around 78 watts at full gaming load based on our measurements and the consequently the rx 460 is just a little bit more efficient but kind of in the same a ballpark of 76 watts and by contrast the rx 470 being a lot more uh, power hungry uh, pulls a lot more watts almost double at 135 watts in similar gaming conditions now the temperatures on these uh, graphics cards are uh, fairly similar when it comes to the actual idle uh, temps it pretty much runs at the operating temperature of your system itself so around uh, 34 33 degrees celsius now at full uh, peak gaming loads it's around 65 degrees celsius for the gtx 1050 ti versus the rx 460 is around the same 66 and 67 for the rx 470 respectively so the, all three of these these cards are fairly similar in terms of thermal dynamics and uh, the fan noise is uh, pretty similar across all three of these cards as well it's the exact same system for all three uh, card gaming test situations so the gtx at 1050 ti on 3d mark fire strike got around a 7132 uh, versus the rx 460 got about 5500 and you're looking at about 9700 for the rx 470 and this is at 1080p at to factory clock settings so we haven't messed around with any overclock settings on any one of these gpus now a 3d mark time spy a directx 12 synthetic benchmark at 1440p you're looking at about uh, 2734 on our 1050 ti rx 460 gets around just above uh, 2000 points and you're looking at 3885 on the rx 470 now with that being uh, said let's actually take a look at some of our real world uh, gaming benchmark results uh, all these games have been uh, tested at 1080p resolution at fairly high detail settings so let's see how uh, the 1050 ti fares up against the other two amd based gpus
But really on that guys, that's really it. In summary, the GTX 1050 is certainly going to be faster than the RX 460, which is priced a little bit lower, but it's not going to outperform the RX 470, which again is priced accordingly. Now overall, uh, it really depends on which uh, uh, card is specific to your budget, but if you had to pick one uh, for around the $150 to $130 range, I definitely think that the uh, GTX 1050 Ti is an excellent bargain for uh, gaming at 1080p and if you're never going to be really gaming beyond that resolution uh, it's an excellent choice maybe not good for VR at this point but for certainly somebody with a strict budget wants to make a killer gaming PC that'll outperform all the current generation consoles uh, the GTX 1050 Ti from Zotec over here is an excellent solution to start out with especially because because it's compact size, great overall power efficiency, and solid 1080p gaming performance. If you have any specific questions, let me know. And thanks for watching again. We'll see you later. Take care.